everyone. I'm back to do another video in the series that we're working on together. Um, last, uh, in the first uh, video, we talked about the kit that I'm using and we made the tag, the front uh, plate tag. Um, so now we're going to move on to the bag portion that's going to go on top. Excuse my voice, I'm a little crackly today, uh, probably just due to the change of weather. So I'm not sick in that way. I'm not sick. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I need to get a wrap for my, my bracelet so I don't clink you guys to, to, to death and hurt your ears. So let's do that because I forgot to do that. <laughs> it's Monday morning. Um, okay. So what I'm going to, what my plan is, is this is going to go on top, right? And it's going to get adhered to this. But we need to attach this first bag um, to the spine. And I'll tell you why. Um, and then we're going to work on some of, um, mapping some of the bags out. So what I've done in the past with these is, I've attached whatever front plate portion that I'm doing, um, and I think I used an envelope the first time. Uh, this time I'm using a bag, um, and but I want to do it so I leave room for the closure to come through. Um, so for this one, because I want it to be kind of rustic, I have this um, suede. Uh, it's, it's tough uh, suede. Uh, it's not it, it's not ribbon it's just it's just a really nice piece of suede roping I guess I don't know what it's called but anyway so what's gonna happen is is this is gonna come through here this will be this is gonna stick out a little bit more than that so it's so it's past the bag so it clears the bag um, and this is gonna go like this I hope you guys can see yeah okay it's gonna go like this and it's going to come uh, behind that. Um, so, and then this is going to get attached to the spine. And then that way, two things happen. Um, you have your closure, right? And you can tie it off over here. You uh, And the tie is then adjustable. You'll be able to take it out and replace it with something else you want. You know, whoever buys this or whatnot. Um, but it also allows for the journal to expand just in case the owner um, goes for a fluffy journal. So, um, and then it also will allow, if I'm only attaching it here and here, this to flip open, right? Um, and allow access to the backs, right? So that's the premise. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to prep that. I'm going to do that, and I'll, I'll go off camera and do that, but I'm going to tell you, what, I'm going to walk you through what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to make sure this is evenly folded and stuff, and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue um, to tack it on there, okay? And then I'm going to sew uh, uh, just up to here and to here. Uh, both the glue and the sewing is not going to touch the rope. Okay, so it's just going to be on each side, leaving a little space for the rope um, to be able to be utilized. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like come, come back, but it's really simple. You're just going to glue on each side of the bag, okay, and leave space for your, your wrapping, whatever it, it may be. And then you're going to sew on each side. You're not going to sew that in. Don't, don't sew across that. You want this to be adjustable and... Um, removable whatnot okay so I will go do that and then I will come back okay I'm back so um, okay so there's the tie on this side it's going through that and over here now if the journal is closed this this will be tight it doesn't want to move right um, and that's to help keep everything together while in use, right? But if you open it up, and, and, and you, then you can see how easily 
it slides okay so it's got a it's got a, a slight locking mechanism but we're going to do some more to this okay so let's see here here's the grab your bag if you're following along grab your bags and I know that this is going to this is going to come right here and this this needs to be over there so we need to we're going to collage this one first and I know that this is going to go in front but I want to put a little bit of paper underneath so we have something that come you know that comes out a little bit um, I had picked out these are the papers that I'm going to play with today from those that I chose um, there's some basic um, pattern papers a little bit of this I want to put um, that's going to go in there in the blue and then um, if you also made along with me some of the full wallpaper nap napkin wallpaper we're going to use some of this today too okay so I'm going to get those ready put those over here um, I had a thought about um, no that one that one needs I want this one to go on the brown yeah, I'm going to put that on the brown, the first brown bag. Um, yeah, this one's going to go on there. Okay, um, so let's put something like neutral. I think I'll do this one on the front, a little bit of this one on the front. Yeah, so let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and... Now I'm going to measure the space here on this bag and so I'm going to say four wide by mm, two and three quarters. Let's let's start there. Um, get this out of the way, put that over there. Let me cut the paper. Or do I want to tear it? I could tear it. Um, oops. Oh, if I was holding on to it uh, securely, that would be helpful. Monday that I'm recording this video. You'll probably see this tomorrow. Um, it's quiet here. It's uh, kind of a drabby day today. Um, and I woke up with a sore throat. So let's see. Okay, so we said two and three quarters. So that's that's here. Okay, let's make sure how this okay, it's gonna go on there. And um, actually I think I'm gonna take a little bit more off. I want some of the bag to show, right? So let's just take off another little little strip from this. Just like um maybe a quarter of an inch and then we said let me make sure the measurement here um, right about right about let's just do this right here let's just make this easy okay and I want it to come in a little bit as well here okay that's good. And then let's make sure that it's going to show. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yep, looking good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And I'm just using, um, yeah, I'm going to use my tacky glue because this is the, you know, this, this is the front cover. So it's going to get a lot of action. So I'm just going to go ahead and Use my tacky glue and hope 
I hope for the best. <laughs> um, well, no, it'll work, but hope that, um, uh, that everything is on there well. Um, doesn't give you much room to move with the tacky glue. Um, so you have to be very careful. Take that out. Smooth that on there. So just make sure that you have it in the place where you want it. Otherwise, you might be a little disappointed. <laughs> it's good glue, but it, um, again, it does, it, it, um, it doesn't give you room to move the thing around. Okay. We've got this over here. Make sure you check all your corners. Okay. All right. So we've got that on, and then this. Um, I'm not putting this on until the very end of the of the project because I don't want to keep bumping it and hitting it and whatever. So, but that's going to look good on there, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside since we have that now set. Now let's go to the inside. Now this is where I'm going to also additionally secure, but not glue, secure but not glue, the rope or the tie or whatever you're using for your closure. Where's my, oh, here. Make sure you have a nice, there we go, nice creased edge. All right, now on this side, let's put, uh, let's put one of these, maybe, maybe this, a little bit of this, might be nice. Yeah, let's put a little bit of that. Um, this I'm just going to get my scissors, kind of straighten this out a little bit. So that's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and bend this a little bit. Where I, oops, that's too much. This is the one that didn't have the double backing, so I might have to back it some more. Let's see how I, if I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna might have to. Let's just let's just see how this works, shall we? Yeah, this is the one I did as a sample before I started the video when I did these the other day. Um, and I didn't double back this one, but I think that gives lens more to the rustic. I like that it's it's torn kind of. So I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna tear it a little bit more um, to make it be less perfect. I like that, especially in this type of um, journal creation. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm not making. I don't care if it's even or not. Um, yeah. I wanted. I wanted a little bit uneven. Perfect. Okay, good. Now I am going to give this. Um, I'm going to give this a little bit more stability. I went to the dollar store and got some dollar books I got, uh, to be able to use uh, for uh, gluing on and stuff. I'll put this over here. Get out my glue stick. Let me get these out of the way. Oops. 
probably could have saved more of the page if I did it the other way, but that's all right. Okay. And then you still get the texture. It's both visual and, um, you know, um, let me tear around this actually. Go around the edge. Now, and I didn't ink that other one, so I've got to do that too. I forgot to get my ink out. No! No! Try to get just along the edge here. And that's okay if it gets on the bag because the bag's already tea stained. So it's just going to make it more so. But I want it really dark along the edge so it pops out. I checked this corner, but I guess it didn't. Okay. All right, that looks a little better. Okay. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay. Now I'm just gonna tear on this a little bit more, get our edges torn a little bit, and I don't care if the, a little bit of the text is peeking out. Ooh. Um. It's fine. It actually uh, gives it a little more visual texture with text. Oh, this side is too perfect. Let's let's fix that, shall we? We can't have a too perfect side. Ooh. It's still a little gluey, but it's manageable. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Let's turn this over now. There's no up or down or whatever, so um, it doesn't really matter which way you put it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, again, going in with my, I'm just using it on this one. We'll, we'll to, um, because it's glycine, um, otherwise we will use the, um, I'll probably just use glue stick for most of it, uh, unless, uh, except for when it comes to the pockets, um, on this front part. Just doing the front part first. Let's see if we can get it done in one video. If not, we'll carry on. To the next. I'm just going to keep going until this um, project is done. Um, yeah. Okay, so I like that. That's looking very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, crud! <laughs> oh, dag nabbit. Can I get it off? Thank goodness it's going to. I really only need half of it to come off. Okay. There's, there's always a way to fix something. I forgot to tell you guys to put the string in there or the the closure, and you're gonna want to make sure you you have enough uh, non glue space for how however wide you know if you're using sorry silk or something like that, um, you know you're gonna want to make sure you have a wider. <laughs> area left for the the ribbon to sit. Again, you're not putting glue on this, you're just gluing up to it. So I'm just going to go over here and kind of put this in there. And uh, let's retack on this side a little bit and hope that um, 
And if you end up gluing your string, it's no problem. It just won't be um, removable um, or and completely adjustable. But I can show you a trick. Let's give that a second to make sure. If you work it, one, work it while it's while you're gluing it. Okay. And that'll help um, that'll help it uh, you know not uh, pick up you not get glued. And then if, if you have a pokey tool, you can also use a long pokey tool. Okay. So let's give that a second to dry. And just keep I just keep moving the closure while this dries. Um, to you know to ensure that it doesn't stick. That's all. All right. I think that's good. We can leave that part now. Okay. So I'm put that over there. Pick up my mess here. Um, all right, then, so this is our front, make sure, yeah, <laughs> make sure we put it on the right way. <laughs> um, okay, I'll use this for backing in case I need it. All right, now, um, I, the bag uh, is a little bit wider than my file folder, so I want to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get my painting shears so it can kind of keep the same edging and where I don't need the bag I'm going to cut it. Try to do it straight. If it's wonky, all the better. That's fine too. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I'm thinking this has to be adhered down but I do want, we, we do want to do both sides of each bag. Um, You know, because I want to put pockets and stuff. I think this is the only one that I won't do the back so it can flip. Yes. I think this one I'm going to glue completely on and not do the back of it. So it's, it, 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 ha it has some adherency to the, to the front of the, the panel. Um, so I do want to show as much of this. I want to keep as, I want to retain um, as much of the design that's on this file folder, I think I mentioned that in the first video, as possible. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and hold this down, put this open, okay, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here to start. Ooh, Ooh. jeez, Louise. You know, normally with these loaded paper bags, um, you decorate them, and then um, you ship them off to somebody. Um, so you would do both sides, but we need this to adhere on to our file folder. And quickly, okay. All right, let's give that a second to hold. Where's my ball folder? Yes. Oh, there it is. I lose everything all the time. Okay, give that a good burnish. Make sure that it's 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 all your edges are covered. This side's gonna be openable, right? But we want to make sure that this side is here down. There we go. Alright. So that's good. That's looking good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. And we still got a lot of this top up there. That's going to look at how pretty it's going to be. Okay. So now let's go on to um, picking out papers for this. And so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. Oops. Over here. So I can set up a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, trim these off so they're ready to go. Okay. 
I should I forgot that I hadn't done this yet. I should have done this before I turned on the video. <laughs> so, but we will be fine. Oops. And I have my other tail ruler, but I kinda wanna I'm, I wanna play with this one for a little bit today. Okay. Um and I know I'm gonna want this. Um Sheesh. Get this out of the way. Okay, put our card, our tag over there. So we don't need that. Okay. I want to use this, I know, as one of the panels. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a share. And did I, I don't think I decided which, I think I got as far as just picking the papers. So I think, cause, and we're going to cut this out. Um, I think it'll go, um, let's see, we want it like that, we want it like this, uh, oh, I think like this, okay, will it fit, it'll mostly fit, okay, so, well, might as well go ahead and let's tear this off for a second, as if I could put it back on there, right, Jeez, Shauna. Okay, I'm trying to see where I want to tear. Okay, I think, I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and move this down. Move this in a little bit so I can tear exactly where I want it to be. But we need to flatten this out. Probably would have been easier, hindsight 2020, to... Um, tear before I glued this on, so, you know, if that's, you know, yeah, like that, and I'm going to tear a little bit on this side too, just, okay, so that'll sit like that, this will be, this will come in a little bit like that, looking good so far I want some of the bit I want I want the edges of the bag to show so um, it's it's so where's the edge of the bag I'm gonna do like whoops that much level. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just turning it upside down um, so I can get some uh, proper tear measurements. I don't know who you are, so we're not answering. Okay, perfect. And this really could go either way, this image. I think I like the sunflower down here. It looks like it's looking up, so I think I like that. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, and if you, do, if you do the collage before you adhere it onto the base, you could also sew. Um, and... You know, there's that. You can sew them onto the bag. And I may still run it through the sewing machine. I think I'm going to do that. Um, but if you glue it on before you sew it, there's you can sew around that, I think. <laughs> um, actually, what I might do is, let's see here. If I put this on here. Can I, oh, but if I sew it onto the bag won't get as much of an opening. It's fine to have it, but then your opening is limited. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll sew around it before I tear it onto the bag. Yeah, and then we still need to cut this out. So what I'm going to do is I have um, I have um, a square. Let me get that. So 
I have some square dies. Okay, and I think this one. They come in all different sizes. It's, it's, you can get that on Amazon. Um, yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. So I'm gonna go, I'll die cut this and then I'll come back. So I'm just gonna put this through my die cutter and cut out that square. Okay, I'm back. So I went ahead and cut out the, the square. And then what I also did offline, well, uh, I went ahead and sewed um, all the way around the main frame and then all the way around the inner frame. Um, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to, uh, we already inked it. So this is going to go on here like this and I'm going to leave this empty um, and I'll put a little note in there, place photo here kind of deal. Um, and I think I'll leave it open up top. Um, and then they can always seal it later if they want. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to also um, all around this side, this side, and this side. Or uh, not so. Glue. Um, so um, my throat is just killing me today. Put that there. Put this here. Just. And that way they'll have room to stick in um, a photo of their choice. Or a quote or uh, something to that effect. Bring this down a little bit. Oh, and I put it upside down. That doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Flowers really kind of... Oh, so I want to... You know what? No, I wanted it the other way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it. If you grab it quick enough. <laughs> you can fix the bag. You can fix your image. There we go. Oops. Good burnish. Um. And then I'll, like I said, I'll put a pull note on there. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll put, we'll do that later. Okay, so that's that one. Then on this one, we are going to do some blue. Let's bring in the blue. I saw uh, Lorna. I love the blue, <laughs> my friend. I love the blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and kind of see where I want this. And just tear it and make sure it's even that's not a really good even side I mean it's not going to be even because it's a rugged it's a rugged tear but that's okay I'm kind of I'm looking here and here and looking I want to make sure I have roughly the same the same um, uh, tear and then I'm going to bring this in even this out and then let's, uh, let's go ahead and tear. Okay. All right. Um, actually, let's do it this way. This is also another way you can do it. I'm going to go ahead and line it up, like I said, get my pencil and just. that um, and I know this line needs to come in a little bit let's even it up this Tim Holtz ruler is great for uh, making sure you're even with uh, where you need to be okay. That's looking good. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think I need to take off a little bit. I do. Let's 
even this up. I'd rather do a little more uh, and, and, and worry about um, the evening, you know, evening up later. Um, so I don't have to do the whole thing um, over again. Um, and if you're if you're cutting, then you have a better chance at oh, this one doesn't want to. Here I can't get this here right, so I'm just gonna cut it. It's fine. Good even. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. Okay. Again, I'm going to ink this. Oops. Okay, and then this, I'm going to sew around this, and that'll get it here, there. Okay, and let me get a, a clip. So that's that side. Um, and But I wanted to also, um, oh, no, we'll do it on the back. Um, okay, so get, I'll sew that. That needs to be sewn and put on there. If you don't sew, you can just go ahead and uh, glue it on. Or if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just go ahead and glue it on now. Now, for the back, um, save my save my bits from my cutoffs here. Um, let's put on the back of this one um, some of this. This will coordinate with that. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just trace around my other piece. There's my pencil. Okay. Oops. That way there's no thinking, there's no measuring. You, and you'll have the same size on each panel perfectly. Like it'll be a match. Not that it's really going to be able to be, you know, you won't really notice it if you're looking at it, I don't think. But might as well go for the evenness of things. Okay. And again, I'm going to, just going to tear this. If I can ever get my ruler to cooperate. rulers. Okay, so now we have two pieces that are the same. Let me do this. Okay. So then this will go on here, this will go on here, that coordinates off of that. And then what I want to do back here is, you know, this is going to be a pocket, right? I want to put something over here to be a pocket too. But that's where I'm going to put this. Maybe that's too busy for that one. I mean, this was my idea. It doesn't necessarily mean, oh, this was the one. This is the one. The sunflowers will play off the sunflower and it goes really good back here. So, what I want to do is, do I want to do a side top? Or, no, I think, I think a, a, a downward pocket. Let's see. And again, I'm just going to kind of, this one the way first of all. And I'm just using this for measurement right now. Because I do want to capture uh, that sunflower. So, I'm just going to do... That looks like a good enough pocket, just like that. Just, but let's scoot it over so I can get more of that, uh, get the design in there. Oops. Actually, let me just tear this instead of waiting. Oh. 
my son is home. Okay. No. Hey, bud. I'm recording a video, so. I was work. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll cut that off. That's okay. I'm doing a little wider um, because it's fragile book paper, so it it, um, it doesn't have the stability yet. Okay. Like this. Oh wait, but let's see which way this is gonna go on. I think this needs to go, yeah, so we can see the blue above the pocket. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is think let's see if it'll fold easy. I wanna give it a nice uh -huh. I'm gonna give the the top of the pocket. I can get this um, fragile book paper and I'm going to put it on another piece of paper so it's fine. It'll have the stability that it needs. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and even this up since I'm going to be the edge of the pocket anyway. Okay. Just like that. So just measure out your pocket if you want a pocket. If you don't want a pocket, don't put a pocket. I'm putting a pocket. Okay. Now, that looks good. Okay. And I think that looks good. So now I'm going to put some, uh, some scrap of the good uh, or the stronger uh, book page. And I'm just going to glue it on here really quick. And this will get sewn too. So I'm just going to use glue stick. Doesn't matter which way it is because you're not going to see it. It's going behind behind the pocket. Uh, uh, it's just reinforcing the pocket, so you're not going to see this part. Can't get it to, where's my bone folder? I can't get it to fold exactly the way I want it to fold. Okay. That's good. out. Okay. I'm going to cut this. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is, so now it's nice and sturdy. We still got the texture and everything. Um, but it's not too thick. So when I sew this, I'm going to put, I'm going to sew, you know, I'll sew across here first, put that on there, and then I'll sew all the way around. And then that is going to go right here. Yep, I like it. I like it. And I'm also going to do more, I'll do, I'm going to do more inking once we get everything on there. So it blends into to the project. Okay, so we got that one and that one. Okay, so that one's ready. So you're just gonna you're just creating your panels. Um, if if you're not sewing, you can go ahead and just glue them on. Um, okay, so then let's do this one. What time is it? 44 minutes. Okay, so I think on this one, I want to bring in this. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure where I want to be. Okay. Much better. Okay. 
Okay. So maybe, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and cut this because um, it's going to get us, it's going to be sewn anyway. All right, so then, good, good. Then, turn this around. And if you're more, if you want to be more precise, then you do it more precise. I uh, am fine with just having a little bit, because mine, I'm, you know, I'm going for rustic here, so I'm okay that it's, that it's, um, you know, torn edges and that, um, yeah. Okay, that's going to look pretty there. So that one's done. Um, so for now, um, to, to, to put a yeah, let's put a pocket on here too. Um, what shall we use? No, I don't want to use that. One. Should we bring the blue back in? Oh, maybe. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, figure out the size of my pocket. I'm thinking on this side. I don't want them big. They don't need to be big pockets. They just need to, um, you know, so you could stick a little tag or something in there. Okay. I'll put that on book page and we'll say the pocket's going to be. Mm, that tall. Okay, let's even this out. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Get out some book page. No. Nope, those pieces aren't big enough. Where's my book? And if you're not doing pockets, you don't necessarily have to um, back this. side now um, and then I'm just going to I'm just going to bend this over just slightly to give it a reinforced edge make sure that we're we're even it needs to come in a little bit and get your bone folder Looking good. Okay. And then that'll get, again, I'll sew here first. Then I'm going to put it on there. Um, and then I'll sew all the way around. And then that'll get put on. So that's, that's ready to be dealt with. And that. All right. Now for this, um, this page. Um, this needs to be, oh, I didn't cut this, so this needs to be uh, cut open, yeah. Hmm, do I want to come down? I think I want to shorten this one a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I'm going to take off just a little bit. Let me just go ahead and cut it. I normally would just slice it with my knife, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Okay. There we go. 
arrow, head perfect. Um, I want to do anything with that. We need something light and bright, maybe. Um, okay, let's see. Or, uh, is this? No, that's going to be too busy. We need something more on the paler side of things. Oh, I think I like that. Yes. So, let's go ahead and share here. And let's get more of that um, image on there. Hear it. No, let's get more of this, maybe. Okay. And can, you, can I take out that much? Yeah. Okay. Just checking my measure. And we need to come in just a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and tear off a little bit more. I would rather, like I said, uh, um, go, go go big and then tear down. Then, uh, well, hello. Why aren't you tearing? I don't know why you're being a pain in my... Okay. Alright. Close the edge of the bag. Oh, I, I still need to come in a little bit more. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do it. And if I end up tearing too much, I'll just go back and redo it. Okay, no, that's good. That's good like that. And then, and do I want it to inset more? Like a letter? Do I want to? I'm just trying to think about how I want it to look. So if I, let's, let's, let's try right here. Oh, look at that. It's like practically perfect. Okay, I'm good with that. So that's going to get, again, I'm going to sew around this and put that on there. That's just going to be a panel because this, you have a pocket here, right? Each bag will have a pocket on each side. Um, let's see, we're 53 minutes in. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I'll, I'll get these uh, done and uh, here done, and then in the next video, we'll carry on. Um, and if you want to go ahead and just do all your panels um, the way you want to do them, you know, because maybe you're using a different kit or whatnot, go ahead and do that, um, right, so you can be ahead of the game. <laughs> um, I'm going to wait and do this on camera, so... Um, for those that are following along, um, so you guys, if you guys are, and especially if you're using the same kit, then, you know, you can do the same thing. Um, you might have different napkins and stuff, but, uh, or maybe you have real wallpaper that you want to bring in or something like that. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead and get those done, and then in the next video, we'll finish the rest up. So, thank you for coming along with me today, um, and, uh, crafting with me. I hope uh, you guys enjoy this series. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a very creative day. Stay happy and healthy, my friends. Love you all. Bye-bye. Take care.